Immigration officials are questioning the authenticity of some medical health certificates or bills of health being issued by a number of health care providers on the island of Providenciales. News 4 has learned through reliable sources that more than 40 work permits were either denied or were the subject of police investigations recently because of an alleged increase of counterfeit medical certificates. News 4 has also learned that the current trick, which is being practiced by a number of people in the expatriate community, wanting to obtain proper status in the country has reached such a high that immigration officials are attempting to get the Ministry of Health to reinforce its previous policy whereby work permit applicants obtain medical certificates only from government clinics. One immigration officer tells News 4 on the basis of anonymity that there have been instances where a work permit was turned down due to the applicant's inability to provide a valid medical certificate. However, days or months later, those same applicants returned with a valid bill of health from a different medical practice center. News 4 contacted Commissioner of Labor who confirmed that her department has detected at least two fraudulent medical certificates in the past month alone. Sutton says that there is a noticeable difference these days in the amount of bill of health that are issued to work permit applicants. Sutton also said in both instances the police department was notified and placed on alert. Sutton explained that in the year 2006 the Labor Department Department approved 7,678 labor clearances, 5,000 of which were renewals. Sutton noted that in 2007, 8,072 labor clearances were approved. She said that out of all of those labor clearances, all came back negative for any infectious diseases or viruses. Sutton noted that the pattern is becoming strange, especially with the rising number of new work permit applicants. Work permit applicants must be free of the HIV virus, syphilis, and a number of other infectious viruses before they can be allowed to work in the country. She also confirmed with News 4 that her department has been bolstering their capacity so that they can detect falsified documents, including medical certificates. There are currently four private health care providers on the island of Providenciales, which are authorized to produce bill of health to work permit holders. News 4 contacted Clary Bean, head of the immigration Immigration board to see if her department has been facing similar problems. However, up to news time, we were unable to get a comment. News 4 also contacted Director of Medical Services Dr. Rufus Ewing. However, up to news time, we were also unable to get a comment from the director.